step back in time with us to an era of power, intrigue and seduction, as we unravel the life of the legendary Cleopatra, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt, Cleopatra's influence extended far beyond her kingdom's borders, and continues to echo through history. Her reign, beginning in 51 BC, was marked by intelligence and charisma. Cleopatra was not your ordinary queen, she was a scholar, a naval commander, a linguist, and a seductress. In a time when women were often seen but not heard, Cleopatra's voice rang out loud and clear. She was renowned for her command over several languages. Indeed, she was the first Ptolemaic ruler to actually speak Egyptian. This linguistic prowess allowed her to communicate and negotiate directly with foreign leaders, enhancing her influence and power. Cleopatra's reputed beauty has been widely discussed, but it was her intellect that truly set her apart. She was a woman who knew how to use every asset at her disposal to maintain her power and protect her kingdom. She was a diplomat, a military tactician, and a strategist. Her rule was not without its controversies. She was a woman in a position of power in a world dominated by men. This led to conflicts, alliances, betrayals and wars. She had to navigate the intricate political landscape of her time, dealing with the Romans and her own subjects. Cleopatra's life was a series of strategic moves, she knew when to hold back and when to strike. Her alliances and relationships, particularly with the Roman leaders Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, were not just personal but political, designed to fortify her hold on power. Her death too is shrouded in mystery and controversy. Did she really commit suicide by asp or was there a more sinister plot at play? The truth like so much of Cleopatra's life remains an enigma. Cleopatra was a woman who held the world in her grasp, but her reign was fraught with controversy. As we delve deeper into her life we'll explore these controversies and the enduring allure of this remarkable woman. In a world dominated by men, Cleopatra held her own, using her political acumen to navigate the treacherous waters of the time. This was no easy task, especially considering that she ascended to the throne of Egypt at the tender age of 18. Yet, she rose to the occasion with a deftness that was nothing short of remarkable. Cleopatra's rule was characterized by a shrewd understanding of power dynamics and alliances. She knew the value of aligning herself with the right people and the right empires. To this end she formed strategic alliances with two of the most influential leaders of her time, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony of Rome. However these were not merely alliances of convenience. Cleopatra was a queen who knew how to play her cards right. She used these alliances not only to protect her throne, but also to expand her influence and power. Yet Cleopatra's reign was not without its share of conflicts. She was constantly at odds with her brother Ptolemy XIII, who sought to usurp her throne. She also faced opposition from other Roman leaders who were wary of her growing influence. Despite these challenges, Cleopatra held firm, using her wit, charm and intelligence to thwart her opponents. Cleopatra's political strategies extended beyond alliances and conflicts. She was a visionary who sought to make Egypt a major power in the Mediterranean world. She undertook ambitious projects to boost Egypt's economy and infrastructure, and she was a strong advocate for Hellenistic culture, which she used as a tool to unify her diverse kingdom. In the end, Cleopatra's political acumen was not enough to save her from the tide of history. She faced the wrath of Rome, the loss of her throne and ultimately her life. Yet, her legacy as a shrewd and capable leader, endures. Cleopatra was a political force to be reckoned with, but her relationships with two of the most powerful men of the time are what truly etched her name in history. Be it as a queen, a strategist, or a woman, she left an indelible mark on the world, making her one of the most fascinating and controversial figures in ancient history. Cleopatra's relationship with Julius Caesar was more than a passionate love affair, it was a political alliance that shook the world. Cleopatra, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt, and Julius Caesar, the powerful Roman general, were two figures who understood the art of power and politics. Their relationship was a convergence of two mighty empires, Egypt and Rome, and it was steeped in both romance and political strategy. When Cleopatra first met Julius Caesar, she was seeking an ally against her brother Ptolemy XIII, who had driven her out of Egypt. Caesar on the other hand was in pursuit of his rival Pompey, who had fled to Egypt after their civil war. Cleopatra saw in Caesar an opportunity to regain her throne, while Caesar saw in Cleopatra a chance to extend his influence over Egypt, a rich and strategic kingdom. Their relationship, though controversial, was mutually beneficial. Cleopatra regained her throne with Caesar's military support, 
and in return, Caesar gained a loyal ally in Egypt. This alliance was further solidified when Cleopatra bore Caesar a son, Caesarion, who she claimed to be Caesar's heir. However, their relationship was not without its consequences. In Rome, Caesar's relationship with Cleopatra caused a scandal. His open relationship with a foreign queen and the recognition of their son was seen as a threat to the Roman Republic. His political enemies used this as a weapon against him, and it was one of the factors that eventually led to his assassination. Despite Caesar's death, Cleopatra continued to exercise her political acumen. She aligned herself with Mark Antony, another influential Roman and continued to rule Egypt. But the political fallout from her relationship with Caesar had significant impact on her rule. It marked her in the eyes of Rome as a dangerous foreign queen, a perception that would ultimately lead to her downfall. The death of Caesar marked the end of one chapter in Cleopatra's life but another was about to begin. Mark Antony, a man of power and influence, was the next to be ensnared by Cleopatra's charm. This charismatic Roman general, once the right-hand man of Julius Caesar, found himself captivated by the allure of the Egyptian queen, marking the beginning of a complex and tumultuous relationship. Their romance was more than just a passionate love affair. It was a political alliance, a strategic maneuver in the vast chessboard of ancient politics. Cleopatra, ever the astute stateswoman, saw in Antony the opportunity to consolidate her power and secure Egypt's future. Antony on the other hand, was drawn to Cleopatra's wealth and influence, seeing in her a vital ally in his struggle against his political enemies in Rome. The two became inseparable, their lives intertwined in a dance of power and passion. Together, they faced down the might of Rome, defying the odds and the ire of the Roman Senate. They even formed their own political alliance, the so-called Triumvirate, with Cleopatra's younger brother Ptolemy the Wartetienth. Through their combined strength, they sought to establish a new order, an empire where Rome and Egypt would stand as equals. Yet the course of true love never did run smooth. Their relationship was fraught with challenges. Antony's political decisions were often viewed with suspicion by his fellow Romans, who saw in his alliance with Cleopatra a betrayal of Roman interests. Likewise, Cleopatra faced opposition from elements within her own court, who viewed her relationship with Antony as a threat to Egypt's independence. In the end, their alliance would lead to their downfall. The Battle of Actium, a decisive confrontation with the forces of Octavian, Antony's political rival, resulted in a crushing defeat for Antony and Cleopatra. In the aftermath Antony, believing Cleopatra to be dead, fell on his own sword. Yet their story did not end there. Cleopatra, upon hearing of Antony's death, was said to have followed him into the afterlife, choosing to die by her own hand, rather than be paraded through Rome as a trophy of war. Their love story ended in tragedy with Antony's suicide and Cleopatra's own death following soon after. Cleopatra's death is surrounded by mystery and controversy, with differing accounts that continue to fuel debates among historians. The most widely accepted narrative is that Cleopatra, the last queen of Egypt, committed suicide by allowing an asp, a venomous Egyptian cobra, to bite her. This version of events is so ingrained in our collective consciousness that it has been immortalized in countless works of art and literature. However, some historians and scholars question this account, suggesting that it may be more myth than reality. There are several reasons for this skepticism. For one, the ancient sources that describe Cleopatra's death by ASP bite are second-hand accounts, written years after the event. Furthermore, the symptoms of asp venom are slow and painful, which seem inconsistent with the descriptions of Cleopatra's peaceful and dignified death. An alternative theory suggests that Cleopatra might have used a concoction of poison, which was a common method of suicide in the ancient world. This theory argues that a poison mixture would provide a more swift and less painful death than an asp bite. Then, there are the conspiracy theories. Some propose that Cleopatra was murdered by Octavian, her political rival, who wanted to avoid the scandal of executing a woman and a queen. Others speculate that she might have been coerced into suicide, pressured by those who sought to use her death for their political gain. These differing accounts of Cleopatra's death highlight the complexities and uncertainties that surround her life and reign. They also underscore the fact that history is often a matter of interpretation, influenced by the perspectives and biases of those who write it. Cleopatra's death marked the end of an era, but her legacy lives on. Though her life was fraught with controversy and conflict, she remains one of history's most iconic figures, remembered for her intelligence, charisma, and political savvy. Her story, particularly the mystery of her death, 
continues to captivate and intrigue us, a testament to her enduring influence and appeal. Cleopatra's life and reign have made her one of history's most enduring figures. The controversies that marked her rule, her relationships, and even her death, have all played a significant role in shaping the legacy she left behind. Cleopatra's political acumen and the tumultuous times she ruled in have become a rich source of intrigue for historians, sparking debate and encouraging exploration. Her reign has been dissected and analyzed, with scholars examining her policies, alliances and conflicts, all to understand better the woman who once held the reins of Egypt. The relationships she forged, particularly with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, have further fueled her legend. The political and romantic intricacies of these alliances have been the subject of countless books, plays and films, painting a vivid picture of a queen who used love and diplomacy in equal measures to maintain her hold on power. Cleopatra's impact extends beyond the realm of history. In art she has been immortalized as a symbol of beauty and power. In literature she has been portrayed as a tragic heroine, a cunning politician, and a seductive temptress. And in popular culture she continues to inspire, from the silver screen to the fashion world, her image and story are continually reimagined and retold.